It's Jen and Tammy here with another Notion video and Creative Grids is at it again. Yeah. They've come out with a three and a half by six and a half inch ruler. And at first glance, I was like, oh yeah, it's, this is just another ruler. You know, when am I gonna use that? Tammy's like, let me have that. I will take that now. <laughs> and you know what? When she started breaking it down and showing me the features of this little ruler, this is a little powerhouse. It is a little powerhouse. It does a lot. It does a lot. Show us what it does, Tammy. Okay. First of all, it's cute. Don't under, well, well cute, yeah, cute is cute. worth it right there. <laughs> cute is worth it. I like cute things. And what else can it do besides okay. look cute? Besides look cute. A lot of cuts that I do are three and a half by six and a half. You're cutting a six and a half inch blocks for making a 12 and a half inch block. So you have six and a half inch cuts. You have three and a half inch cuts. Yes. This works perfectly into all that math. Definitely, because okay. a 12 inch block oftentimes has four squares that are three inches each. Right. Finished. Correct. So it has to be three and a half going into it. Correct. So this is a common, it's, it's probably where they came up with size. it. Exactly. They're pretty smart. So I like to square up triangles using a ruler like this. Okay. It has three and a half. So again, on a Creative Grids ruler, you have your white numbers or your solid numbers mm. or your even numbers. The black numbers are your half numbers. So you're one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, because they add that half inch in in the very beginning. Again, they have that grippy all the way around this wow, ruler. Cool. This half inch mark right here has got it. I love it. Solid, it's wonderful. Okay. 45 degree angles for trimming up. This would trim, hold on, let's turn it around and do it this way. There we go. Now we're gonna trim a three and a half mm. inch square. Mm. You see that? I trim three and a half inch triangles all the time and I always make my triangles my bigger you than do. what I need it's, so that yeah, I can yeah. square them down. I know it's it, just it's habit. true. habit. That even when, like when I used to try to skip that step making pinwheels, mm -hmm. yep. like if I was gonna finish with a two inch half square triangle, I'd start with two and seven eighths. Right. No matter wow. how precise my quarter inch seam was, I just wished I had to have a little bit bigger to clean it up. Exactly. They're either a little bit too small. Yeah. Yep. I always, always, always cut mine bigger. Always, I round up to that half mark, whatever. I round up to the yeah. next even so number. So instead of three and seven eighths, you cut, cut four, four. That's correct. And then trim it down. That's correct. Got it. Yes. So cutting this down to three and a half, this ruler is amazing for that. I can square that up quickly. It's accurate. It's perfect. Okay. When I cut like three and a half inch strip and now I need to sub cut different pieces, right. this works well as sure. well. Sure. I find myself using this to cut smaller pieces with. I like using a smaller ruler with smaller pieces. Yes. Just yes. the bigger rulers seem so much bulk. They are bulkier. It's They're meant hard to cut to maneuver. with the fabric. Right, not to cut your small no. cuts. It's, no, it was They're not, not meant, meant for that. That's not its mission. Correct, really. correct. It'll also trim flying geese. So wow. this is gonna be a three and a half by six and a half inch flying geese. And I have my 45 Look degree lines that. here and here's my cross right there. And I'm just gonna line this up and this will trim out a flying geese perfectly. Leaving your quarter inch right where it needs to go. Wow. I love this little ruler. This, I've used this ruler a lot, Jennifer. This is amazing. So do you, Tammy, as a habit, for the same reason, that. trim out, oversize yes. your flying yep. geese and trim. Yep, I trim them down because then I know I have a perfect quarter inch yep. right here. So when I'm sewing along and I hit that little point, boom, my points are right where they're supposed to Is be. Is this why your blocks always come out better than my blocks, yeah, Tammy? They come out square, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think they this, do come I'm out square, Jack. <laughs> I know, they come out square. That's why. You're taking so that extra I'm, step. I am. That really does make the difference. Exactly. Exactly. Because it everything's going in squared do. up. That's right. And it's it's just, what a cool feature. This is such a nice ruler. It has a bullseye that's straight in the middle. This shows you the exact center of this ruler. Oh. So I know that the exact center of this block is right there. If you're trying to do any fussy cutting or anything like that, this will show you exactly where the center of three and a half is. 
They have literally How thought of everything. There's so many things they add to the ruler that take it to you the next level. You don't realize it's there. You don't know what all these markings are. This is the exact center of it. That's amazing. Perfect. I, again, underestimated it until you're like, no, look, it's this. It can do that. The flying geese. It, exactly. The this, the that. Yeah. I, this is really just, ruler. these types of things really, like I was saying, literally take, that's why your blocks actually measure 12 and a half inches and mine are in the ballpark. <laughs> in the ballpark. <laughs> but I'm getting better. Thanks you are Tammy. getting better. I'm using we these We got tools. the good tools and mm -hmm. we'll get there. That's I'm right. i that one too. Good job. Thanks for showing us everything about that creative grid ruler. You're welcome. We'll see you next time.